Your head literally does not fit inside the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's there. It's there <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very, very special guest um, here with me. We're going to talk about natural hair. She has a natural hair page on Instagram called Sunflower and Crows. And um, yeah, I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi hey guys. guys, so my name is Amelia. Um, I have, <laughs> like Vavana just said, I have an Instagram page called Sunflower and Crows. It's all about natural hair. What um, it's about sharing tips. We sh um, I share tips, reviews on products. I feature people mostly every Friday. And yeah, that's basically what the page is about. It's just about their natural hair journey, embracing it, and you know, using living a healthy hair yeah. life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. So today we're going to talk about because we thought we thought about uh, how December is coming up, the festive season is coming up, and people. Obviously, you want to play around with your hair. You know, this is the time where you can go completely crazy with your hair, do whatever you want, and nobody's going to judge because it's festive season. And we thought about um, doing a, a video on how to safely color your hair because I'm sure a lot of people want to add a bit of pop of color to their hair yeah. just for the festive season. I mean, why not? Um, I mean, I'm definitely one of those. You're gonna try it. Out. Yeah. Just, uh, in December, yeah, right? Yeah, December, just go like all out <laughs> every and just time, try everything. Like, every December, I probably have a new color in my hair, and it's just yeah. that shocking yeah. red you wanted to try, but you thought <laughs> and no, the purple. Now is the time to try it. it. You go yeah. ahead and. Leave. And we thought, why don't we do something around how to safely color your hair? Because there's so many um, chemicals out there that can damage your hair. And I mean, you know, we we trying to live a healthy, natural hair life. Yeah. And we're not trying to put all these funny chemicals. I mean, we've already done a big step in eliminating relaxers, and um, colors have a lot of chemicals that can be very damaging to your hair. Mm. So we're just going to talk about some of the safe colors that we've tried, some that we haven't tried as well, but we we know um, don't have chemicals, and we'll talk to you guys through it now. Yeah. And then we we'll also just talk about what happens afterwards. So after you color your hair, what should you do? You should definitely treat it in. We're going to talk about some of the products that we know of that work really well for color hair. So, so we went out yesterday to go and look at some, um, to look for some products because we both used some colors yeah. types that we can talk about and tell you how it's worked for us. But we also just wanted to give you guys more. So we went out yesterday and we went to look for like different types of dyes that you could use that do not contain all of the bad chemicals. Yeah. And, um, we also just went out to look for like treatments for your for your hair, color treated for color treated hair, and yeah. um, and it was quite disappointing though. So yeah. uh, there weren't really a lot of companies that are making natural hair products for color treated hair. We found probably like three. Yeah, yeah, probably three. And we went to both uh, clicks and discam. It and was <sighs> there was really limited amount of like treatments for color for natural hair that is colored. And also just color. Um, it was very disappointing to see, actually, because yeah. you know we're all in having with all this hype around natural hair, movement, and there's you know? still no product that caters for us. Like <laughs> it's getting deep. We're getting a little <laughs> emotional. Carried <We're> away. <laughs> so the first color we have is the Revlon Color Stay, uh, and I'll try and zoom it in here for you guys. Yeah, maybe in the oh, There we go. A little bit more. Oh, there. Oh, there. there we go. There we go. If you guys can see, it's the Revlon Color Stay um, dye. It doesn't have ammonia, which is one of the chemicals that, is, that can be damaging to your skin and your hair cuticles and all of that stuff. Um, so, this is a very good one to use. It's the one I've used for, for to color my hair. Um, so one of the con one of the pros is that it doesn't have ammonia and that it's also very affordable. Yeah. Mm, and I suppose the con is that um to get the color get you, the actually color you want, want, want to dye it more than more once. Than once. Yeah. So if you're going for a lighter, say now you're going for a lighter brown, you're gonna have to like dye it like twice, twice, three times. Three times maybe. I dyed mine three times. Yeah. Um, to, to get, get it that light. But if so, you just want like a you know just a no you just want to go one shade darker. If you just want to go one shade lighter, sorry, um, you can just dye it once. If you want to go three shade lighter, like I did, I wanted to go three shade lighter. You need to dye it like three times. Yeah. 
it's yeah but just make sure you do treatment in between do not damage your hair cool uh and they do have a variety of colors you can do they they have like your red your blonde your blue, blue blacks blue blacks and all of that stuff so there's variety okay, and then you. the next one is in ecto and this is even more affordable uh let me try and zoom it in for you guys there we go okay all right so in ecto it's like you can't miss it it's everywhere in stores at clicked this camp i'm sure a lot of people know about it um so one of the pros is that it's very very affordable and it's made for black hair uh yeah like ours <laughs> they're like you know what and I mean. it doesn't have ammonia as well uh, which is good you know one thing less one chemical less for, for your hair and it has aloe vera aloe vera it has aloe vera extract so that's my favorite part about it because you know anything that has aloe vera i'm done for it yeah it so, kind of enriches your hair yeah with so, all those proteins and everything that you want yeah. so, so that's good. actually that's a pro the con is that um you said you've used it and the color was washing out yeah and like so it stopped washing out at some stage but it, it was washing out for, for at for least three times the three days that i washed yeah. it every time i'd wash it like it would just come out like i mean it's a permanent dye but it doesn't feel quite permanent yeah. when you wash your hair you know everything just keeps, it keeps coming, coming out every time so i don't know if probably that happened maybe because i didn't wash it out yeah good good the first time because i'm very impatient when comes to these things like so i just want to get it done why, yeah. so that is probably why but if it does happen to you then just know that it will stop it will wash out and then eventually it will stop yeah and it is it actually is permanent like it's it, yeah. it's not going anywhere <laughs> cool moving on the next one is renew no we we did red one oh they have similar packaging <laughs> there we go renew there we go okay i've personally used renew uh for hair extensions and it just has beautiful color it does say here vibrant color and it really is vibrant um it does contain all of the chemicals so it, it's not ammonia or peroxide free yeah. but um it dies really quickly so the i guess the pro is that you could dye get your hair to a lighter color faster mm -hmm. but that also means that yeah you need to double your treatment yeah so the fact that it just contains like all these bad you know the bad product like the, 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 the chemicals the chemicals i mean yeah. so the fact that it has that just you know you just means to, you need to be really careful really, and just yeah really treat your hair after that all right cool. so i think we're done with the hair dyes now so now we're yeah. gonna move along to the treatment yeah but before we do the treatments i just want to say you don't have to stick to these colors that yeah. you just mentioned now but, but i guess what we're trying to say is just look out for chemicals like ammonia parabens peroxide mm -hmm. um and all these chemicals that they put so if you can find a dye that doesn't have one or the other of yeah. this it's obviously a plus and much better and also I guess the overall message is just treat your yeah. hair extra put extra treatment just put your hair is now colored and it needs yeah. extra moisture it needs just yeah like extra attention yeah so we're going to move on to the treatments yes. um like we said initially we didn't find a lot of treatments that you can use um you have used one before that we actually got a session yes, that i love yeah. so 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 much this is one of my favorite 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 um hair treatments it's the palmer's um coconut oil coconut oil protein. deep conditioning protein pack yeah. this is a you swear by it i swear by it yeah. this is like <laughs> your what can i how can i say this your natural hair weapon <laughs> Weapon is such a strong word. I know, it's so aggressive. <laughs> but it's like it's like that go. It's your go-to thing. To thing. Like as soon as your hair is dry, yeah, you know what to get. You know what to get. It, and you know, definitely, it has no sulfates, no parabens, no. I can't read that word. No mineral oil, no, no gluten, gluten, no, no dyes. dyes. So that's good. 
and also it is ideal for dry damage and color treated hair. I don't know if you can see whatever you can see, it doesn't matter. And it, yeah, and so, the fact it's just natural, um, coconut oil is used like it's everything, it just and it's made for natural hair, so you know that it's, it's just amazing. Man, it's just I amazing. haven't used it, but it looks like a very good product, so I should probably, um, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair again, but I just want to go like lighter. So when I do that, I'm definitely going to yeah. Overall, Palmer's um, products Palmer's are good. Palmer's products are yeah. the bomb. I have used a few of the other yeah. products. It's really good. Definitely even their shampoo. If you can get their shampoo and like their conditioner as well to go together with the treatment, that's going to work like really well for you as well. So, so one of the only brands that we found that caters to color hair for natural hair is the Garnier Ultimate Brand uh, Blend? The Ultimate Blends. We will put the name in the description box. We will. Do not yeah. worry. Do not fear. I don't care. think you can see it. Okay, just remove your face from this so you can focus. <laughs> it's there. We go. I'll do it a little bit more. And all of the prices are there. It's affordable. It's meant for colored hair it's and great. It has a conditioner, shampoo, yeah. a balm. A what's the other? It's a color illuminator made especially for color hair, and it has uh, argan oil, argan oil extract. So when once you color your hair, you should probably do get the shampoo, the conditioner, and it has a um, the balm, the balm, which is like a treatment. Yeah. yeah. And then um, we got the shea moisture. Who is that? This one here. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yes. This is a really good color. This it looks like. Yeah. So we have <laughs> Shea Moisture Leave In Conditioner. Yeah. We haven't personally tried this, but yesterday it was one of the few products we found that you can use for color hair. So we went ahead and took a picture of it. It has Jamaican black castor oil, which is good for your hair. Um, so, Shea yeah. Moisture, Shea Butter is good, yeah. and apple cider vinegar. Which is you don't really find many vinegar. products that have apple cider vinegar, so for this one to actually you know come through this, yeah. and it says it's color yes. safe, so it's safe. And they have the leave in conditioner, which is good because once your hair is colored, it starts drying out really quickly. Yeah. Leave in conditioner just helps ensure that Keep you that have that moisture, moisture yes. throughout the day, and then it has a shampoo also made for. Um, Chemically processed or heat styled hair. And yeah. yeah. The other one was Kalahari, Kalahari range. <laughs> there you go. You guys can see this. This is everywhere in clicks. You cannot miss this. Yeah. It is, and they are. Uh, they had shampoo and conditioner for specifically color treated hair. So it says here color protection conditioner and color protect on shampoo. So there you go. I I actually when I'm using my natural hair, I like to do treatment at least once a week. Okay. And I don't use my natural hair much. Like I'll use it for two days and then I'm back to the week. So but in those two days I always do like I'll do a treatment and I'll do washing. That's, that's good enough. Sure, yeah. Because, because you don't really colors. use your natural hair. Like no. Well. And all of my products that I do use on my hair is for color treated hair. Until now, I've used your usual stuff like Tresemme, mm -hmm. painting, but they're not really made for natural hair. So I'm kind of glad that we found these. Yeah. So I'm going to probably switch to the Garnier because I already used that range yeah. for my natural hair and just see how it, how it goes. But my hair has held up really good, this color. Maybe it's because I've treated it. Yeah. But, um, I haven't had much breakage, but that's probably because my hair is going to be Yeah. As for me, like I use my natural hair mostly. Most yeah. of the time I have my natural hair in any... Um, I have colored it about a um, month ago. I think two months ago, a month ago. And yes. you know, it's going well. Like I just yeah. do my treatments, regular treatments. I usually... Okay, so I have my regime which is like wash day like every Sunday. Yeah. So obviously every week I have to wash it and then my treatment, I do a deep treatment. So my yeah. deep treatments I do like every two weeks. 
So I don't really see the need to do it every week because you know it's just no time. I ain't got the time for that. So, <laughs> so I try. But you have such perfect hair. It's not perfect. <laughs> it is. Like she has it's perfect hair. Like I wish I had. Your hair is just perfection in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, you can do no wrong. I'm touched. <laughs> Man, my natural hair journey has honestly been. The greatest, the greatest thing, greatest. like it's something yeah. you're just embracing this new thing because yeah. you know your whole life. I don't life, know why we never did it. Yeah, before. your whole life it's been about you know all the soft hair because it's easier to manage yeah. and whatever, whatever, whatever. But no, it's, let's stop being lazy, guys. Let's just embrace our natural hair. Like it's the most beautiful thing you can do. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you know of any other products that we can use that we haven't mentioned, please leave it in um, the comment box below. We'd really, really love to learn more yeah. about just color hair. Don't forget to go like the page, guys. Yes, follow, 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 follow. Comment if you have any questions. DM and in my DMs are always open. Just talk her. Please, okay. no inappropriate stuff, guys. Come on now. We're talking <laughs> hair and, <laughs> and all that. So, hey, all right, girl. <laughs> what are you doing, you psycho? <laughs> hey guys, um. And um, so that's the that's the the con. Yeah. No, wait. This con. That's wait. the the pro. <laughs> that's the pro. <laughs> Oh, I see now the second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it wasn't.